impression. You unravel me. It's something that it's we all feel inside me. Because of so many things. The impression is so bad. So it makes you a slave of your fears. It makes you it makes you not to live up to what you should enemy. actually live up to. It makes you sad. It just doesn't have any positive effect on you. It gets into your head and tells you negative things. Well, we all experience it. I have experienced it on my own. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my experiences, how I overcome depression, and basically, I hope it helps you. So if you want to know more about this, please keep watching. Hello guys, welcome to the Declare channel. Well, as you can see from the title of the video, we're going to be talking about depression. And yes, basically I'm going to be sharing with you my experiences. And this video is actually going to be divided into like three parts. First of all, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to explain what depression is from my own point of view. Secondly, I'm going to talk about my experience. And then how I overcome it and things that actually trigger it from my own side. And then I hope this video helps. Okay, so first of all, depression is just a state of mind where you don't feel good like you just feel so bad about yourself you feel unfulfilled you feel sad things make you cry easily things make you feel like you're the worst of anything that has ever existed that's just how i feel depression should be that's how i think depression is and basically my own experience first of all i don't have major depression issues it's just normal depression that occurs as like you know as you do things in life probably as time goes on you don't really achieve what you want to achieve that one makes me depressed sometimes sometimes it's just hormonal changes in my body that makes me not really like feel my best to be at my best it makes me feel bad sometimes because of hormonal changes and that i have no control over but as immediately i notice it i really know how to like, go about it and yes first of all how it happens is this, um, whenever it happens, if it's hormonal, if it's like, like, because if it's as a result of hormonal changes in my body, I just, you know, know that it is it. I know the source and I'm like, okay, fine, it's because of this. And since it's because of that, many things get to me, like petty things, things that don't, things that don't really matter, get to me a lot. And because I already know the source. I would like try to feed well try to rest well and try to stay out of my head because when you get into your head is the worst place to be whenever you're depressed it's it makes you think bad things about yourself it's just not where you can be and then if it's just because of things not going well as I want them to probably have this project I'm doing and I'm not actually moving as fast as I can or I had this exam I didn't really do as well as I wanted to do all these things can make me feel less of myself and make me fall into depression. Like I said, it's not major depression. I, I don't stay in it for too long. I just stay in it like, for a, a little while, probably one or two days, and then I snap out of it. So basically, um, what I do is this. Whenever I'm depressed, I just talk to somebody. I talk to someone who I, who I can, who I'm sure will give me good advice. And... Basically, when I talk to someone, because the person will give me a good advice, I would have, you know, in this case, you have like the negative and the positive side in your head. The positive side really tells you good things about yourself. It's self-explanatory. So when someone gives you a positive advice, the positive side has an edge over the negative side. And then the positive side tries to tell you good things. Like when, this, when, you, when I get advice from somebody, I now come to the advice myself. I tell myself good things. Probably, I, I tell myself, see, you are good. Like, you are worth it. You are good enough to do this. You can basically achieve anything you want to achieve. You are good enough. Don't think you're not good enough. Don't think you can ever measure up. Because, and when I tell myself these things, I feel better. Like, I feel myself getting pulled out of it. And, Basically, 
when after I've talked after I've talked to myself and after I've gotten advice and I've talked to myself, I now put into consideration the fact that people don't know what I'm going through. So I don't expect them to act in a certain way to make me feel better. That's something I put into consideration because we live in a very negative world when people don't even put most their fellow human beings under under consideration. So I kind of put this thought in my head. Whatever anyone tells you, don't take it personal. I know it might not be easy, but don't take it personal. Criticisms will come, corrections will come, both constructive, both constructive and destructive criticisms will come. Some people will criticize you in in a way that will help you. Like the criticism is in, is to, is in your favor, but the way it is dished out to you is so not okay. Probably you didn't do well in your semester, and someone is like. The way person comes to you, and instead of the person to like tell you, well, you know you didn't do well because you didn't study hard, or probably that you were sick and something like that. But then the other person will tell you, huh, really, why would you pass when you're busy, not reading, and you don't even care about your future? <laughs> Who does not care about his or her future, guys? Basically, everybody cares about his future, to my to best of my knowledge. If someone talks to you like that and tells you that you don't care about your future, it's going to make you fall back into depression and start and, and get back, in, back into your head and you start telling yourself things. The sad truth is that people dish out corrections the wrong way so many times. So it's actually a few people who actually give you corrections in a very, very mild and meek way. So if you're lucky to have those people around you, that's good. But if you're not lucky enough to have those people around you, you have people who give corrections the hard way, I advise you to sieve out the words they say to you. Take the ones that will help you and try to eliminate the ones that will hurt you inside. Don't get back into your head. Once you're recovering from depression, don't get back into your head because it's going to be hard to pull out again. Because the more you fall in, the more you're more vulnerable and vulnerable. And the more you're vulnerable, you know what that means? You just you just disoriented and many things can affect you and you don't really you won't really know your direction again. You're like so forget about me, like I'm worthless. I don't even know anything about myself and I don't even care. Like something like that. You just start telling yourself things that that, that don't really exist. So guys, whenever you're told something, try to see the point in it and forget about the bad words or the harsh words. And you also get some people talking to you in harsh ways because they don't really know what you're going through. Don't take it too personal. Just brush it off and keep forging ahead. There's this tip I would give to you guys. If someone tells you something the way you don't, like tells you something or insults you or gives or just makes a bad comment or a hurtful comment about you, just tell yourself the opposite of what the person told you. Or probably the person's like, oh, you. <laughs> You will never measure up, probably, or uh, you. Since when did you like? Since when uh, and did you get good enough to carry out this thing? Tell yourself, like, hey, see. Probably when the person is saying it, within yourself, tell yourself, I can measure up. Like, I'm good enough. Just tell yourself that. You might think it's not really tangible, but those words you say to yourself actually help you in resolving within yourself and telling yourself positive things and the results will be so good because after everything the words those persons or that person say to you will not really get to you okay so the last thing basically on this whole thing is um find a source of like inspiration mine is prayer mine is um prayer i just pray I, I go to God in prayer, not the like conventional way, oh Heavenly Father, help me do this, help me get out of this. No, I discuss with Him because He's my Father, He's my God. And for crying out loud, <laughs> He has given me the spirit of boldness and confidence, not of shyness or fear or something like that. Because depression keeps you in fear and 
you're just so scared to make a move and you just oh my god you're just so also jittery and you don't have confidence in yourself but that's not the kind of spirit god has put in you he has put in you the spirit of confidence and your body is the temple of the holy spirit so girl boy sober up don't get lost into the depression and don't let don't don't get lost into your head like go to him in prayer don't go into your head and start thinking things because your head is the worst place to be in if you are depressed because you're going to get with ideas as serious as suicide i'm telling you the truth so don't get into your head go to pray, go to god in prayer and tell him your needs discuss with him is your father you have the right to talk to him when you want to talk to him tell him your predicament tell him to give you direction to go about your activities tell, to, tell him to give you the direction or the like tell him to tell you what you have to do your purpose in life tell him to help you discover it and to give you the grace to not let bad words or hateful comments get to you guys this is basically what i do and anytime i do this i feel much more better i feel much more better because i don't know it's where i draw my inspiration from and i'm a christian if you're not a christian well if you don't believe in god it's totally your own choice but me i believe in god so much and basically everything i do i try to involve him in every situation i find myself in and yes that's basically it guys i hope this video helped you i hope you got a lot of it a lot of a lot of things from it well this is all i have to offer if i have any other thing i can offer i will put it on my instagram page and guys, please, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go check it out. You might like it. And just follow me if you like it. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please do. And when you subscribe, hit the bell icon close to it. Close to the subscribe button to get notified anytime I post videos. Okay, yeah? Bye. God bless.